Hello everybody, this is the awesome MCB here, and no, I am not dead. I do want to apologize I for not recording quite a long time. Uh, I, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a, bit of a rundown of what's been happening. So first, of course, well, my gaming PC broke, which had my virtual machines, and those had to be replaced, and it took a while. And then after that got fixed, I actually got sick. <laughs> And I'm actually still a little bit sick right now. I'm coughing quite a bit. So if you ever, if you notice any cutouts at random times, that just probably mean I could be coughing, and it's you probably don't want to hear that. So I decided just to go ahead and today uh, look at Windows Defender. Now I never really liked Windows Defender, but I decided to go having. I've been seeing some. Uh, uh, like increased results lately of their signatures getting better so I, was my, I thought I was might as well give it a go so let's go ahead and get started here so as you can already tell ready there's no actual seating needed it's already up to date as you can tell from the time here um, firewall is safe is set, is set to adjust the Windows Defender and the application control Everything is set by default, and I have even included the the uh, the uh, with a controlled folder access, which protects your folders from ransomware. So we're just going to go ahead and do all these with the default settings. So pretty much, so we're going to go ahead and do a link test. We got our normal five links. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. So here's the first link. Okay, so it was immediately blocked. So there's no point of run. I don't think this is gonna even, yeah, it was blocked by smart screen. Next link. And it was blocked by the Windows Defender Smart Screen. This one was also blocked by the Smart Screen. Fourth one. And that one was also blocked. And that one was also blocked. <laughs> so all of these were blocked, which is very impressive. So if we go ahead and just look in here, we can see the full his. Let's see if we can see the full history. Um, you all say there were Trojans, but. Looks like one of them wasn't even allowed to download, but they all say they were blocked by smart screen, so. So that was very impressive for a start, so. Let's go ahead and, uh-oh, what's this? Oh, it just says that threats are fa found, so it's, so it looks like it found one that it just didn't block by smart screen, but we could just tell it to uh, move that, and boom. Now we are completely clean. So I'm g so let's go ahead and uh, get the samples now, and let's see how well Windows Defender can do. All right, so we have our samples. We have 100 items, which all contains a huge concentration of ransomware. So let's go ahead and just do a right-click scan. All right, so it's only detected 33, so so it looks like a lot of these. You can see that there was some ransomware, there was a worm. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start actions. So I decided to go ahead and just, um, under the protection settings, just go ahead and uh, turn back on the real-time protection 
the cloud deliver protection in the sample submission so that because so I'm wondering if the sample submission would help with the signatures but so I'm not sure why it didn't do the actions before but looks like it's now doing actions either that or it's because we went ahead and just turned on that protection again but we're just going to but just go ahead and have this take care of these threats so now it says it scanned 126 and found 30 like it's seen all these so let's see if it will take care of these threats now And uh, of course, the there's n the folders here is empty, which is pretty surprising on what on how that's even did. So, but the only issue with that is on the amount of times I had to reboot and re keep rescanning and turn on the protection settings again. It looks like it finally. Yeah, finally finished everything. So that is a detection ratio of 100%, which is pretty impressive. I mean, these samples are, I literally just got these samples today. So I'm wondering if that was because of the automatic file submission or that is usually in the settings. But yeah, I mean, I'm very impressed. I mean, if you recall when I, when I did the right click, right click scan, if you know that these weren't on, I decided to turn these on to help do with better with the signatures, but it looks like it's completely taken care of. There's not a single piece of malware in this folder, which is extremely surprising. So, so I'm going to say this, well done Microsoft on how well you are ma been making your Windows Defender go. Usually in the past, I haven't seen very much well results, but this does not fully convince me to come back to Windows Defender. The only issue with this is I'm having with Windows Defender is the amount of signature updates it gets. Compared to like MTSoft, you get like an update like every 30 minutes and it has a built-in ransomware protection. Now, I know Microsoft has recently impl implemented something similar to this, but it could, but there's also malware out there that just tells Windows Defender to turn off. But of course, with third party ones, they help protect against zero day ransomware, but it, especially zero day malware, but it really just depends. So, yeah. So, in final thoughts. I'm very impressed. It got a a perfect detection ratio detection ratio. I don't need to run any second opinion scanners. But I would still not use it in my opinion, even though the signatures do did do good because on there is no real um zero day protection besides the cloud protection, but that doesn't always work. So I hope you all have enjoyed and if you have be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's been quite a while since I uploaded, but you guys understand why I told you at the beginning of this video. So, yeah, I will talk to you all later.